how do you get yourself away from feeling like like self pity or like because I can, I think that that's like something that we have struggled with a lot, everybody during this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm struggling yeah. with it right now in this yeah. moment. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you do, Cass? I I just allow it. Just mm. allow it. Just feel self pity. It's it's <laughs> fine. It can't last forever. Do you put a, a cap of time on it? You know, like, no. because, like, well, no, because I'm telling you, I will self pity myself right out the window. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm, I'm really in like a certain place where it's like, I, you know, and I feel like I, I feel like this need to justify it because I'm like not normally this person, but it's just like, you know, for me, I, it's been like kind of unrelenting, sort of the, the just waterfall, the, the, the pile of shit and yeah. it, it's the best it's been right now but is still like i would say you know the bottom of the barrel of the best case scenario that could have happened if that makes you, sense you have every right to pity yourself this is the situation you're in is not good but i'm not uh, feeling good doing it and and i would like well, no, I you guess, right it's like i don't necessarily <clears throat> think I want to wait until I figure out the thing that will allow it to pass for me because it's, it's so it, it's happening. I mean, for a year almost, you know what I mean? Like um, for, as we all have been affected or whatever, but I've kind of had, you know, like d just the stuff I've had happen to me. I mean, and like, I'm in like a brand new place that, you know, for me, I, I've, there is like a learning curve for living in the UK, even though everyone is basically white and speaks English. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's different. It's not home or whatever. So I guess it's like, what I'd like to try to do is find a way to work within it because this is the fact of where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, there's very, so little, and it, it seems like I, you know, I don't know from listening to you today, it's like you, figured out what it was and you were able to kind of like pull the pin and change that and then kind of blossom into, you know, I guess confidence and happiness or whatever, again, what have you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's sort of what I, I heard. Yeah, sure. Do you, is, do you think it's capable? Do you, can someone say me do that while within, or is it just, you got to wait until it's all over and you figure out how to move forward? Yeah. Sometimes. Um, I, I used to hang out with, um, some dudes who were in uh, Russian special forces. And okay. uh, they used to say Tinder? like- Tinder? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they, they used to say that when they're in like sh shitty, intense situations, you know, you, you set up a table and you start playing cards. So hmm. what they mean is you have to find a way to be comfortable within the shittiest situation. Like if you can't yeah. change it, start playing cards because you're going to be here for a while right um and that uh, had a big impact on me that is some profound shit from some russians <laughs> yeah you know yeah, th th they're occasionally they, quite profound they're known <laughs> yeah. for their poetry i mean you know, <laughs> yeah. so. why can't they infect the u.s with that shit you know instead of this like <laughs> yeah. hacking crazy shit Slam poetry. At random. <laughs> yeah. Somebody set up a poetry. table. What is it? Set up. What was the, what was the phrasing? Yeah. Set up a table, start playing cards. Wow. I'm going to tattoo that. Uh, I'm not because I don't get tattoos, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to write it on the mirror in the morning <laughs> so I can do it in my affirmations. Yay. Um, 